Pastor Nate here once again. Today I'm going to continue talking about this Christmas story. We've been talking about it for some time now. I invite you, if you haven't heard others, to go back and listen to them. I've been talking to it for talking about it for a few weeks now. But one thing that I really want to touch on, because it's so important that I believe it's the centerpiece of this Christmas story, and that is salvation. But Jesus came as our Savior. That's what we see in uh, Luke chapter 2 in verse 11. It says, For a Savior who is Christ is born to you today in the town of David. So it's very clear there, a Savior is born to you. Jesus came not only to save us from something, which he did, but he came to save us for something. Yes, many people think about this. He did come to save us from hell. And it's important to note here, God does not send anyone to hell. If he's sending people to hell, why would he send his son to save us from it? God doesn't send anyone to hell. He came to save us from it. And that's part of it. But he also say, came to save us from ourselves, from our own bad decisions and the, the path that we're on. Um, but to know that he has a plan and a purpose. And that's the second thing he came to save us for something. So he not only came to save us from something, but he came to save us for something. Come on, God has plans for you. You have purpose. Come on. You are, have purpose in you. He has a purpose for you, and he placed that purpose in you to know that there's something in you that other people need. He wants to bless others through you. Come on. Have you ever stopped to think about that? You have a purpose. God has plans for you. That's what Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us. You were born on purpose. Scripture talks about that. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. You were born for bringing glory to God. Man, that's powerful. Amen. This is Pastor Nate saying till next time, be blessed.